So the Super Strike PyCon just EZA'd and awakened. We're going to test him out and see how good he is. First of all, let's go through his details. His stats, 15,000 HP, 13,000 attack, and 10,000 defense, which are all pretty good stats. I've never been disappointed with Super Strike EZA stats yet. AGO and STR leader for 3 key and 70%. Supreme damage to the enemy and lowers the enemy's attack and defense. So this is, if not the... This may be the first unit, Super Strike unit, to not have the raise defense mechanic, which I'm very disappointed about, which I think automatically makes him a unit that is not competing for the number one spot for the best Super Strike EZA, unfortunately. However, I think his passive is pretty decent, though. Uh, attack and defense was 140% at the start of his turn, and additional attack and defense was 20% with each attack performed, up to 60%. All allies support for 20% attack and defense, an additional one key and attack and defense 10% for all allies. And if HP is 80% or more, chance of performing a critical hit 50% when all allies attacking the same turn are super class. Now, I think the super class restriction also applies to the 10% as well, um, if I'm reading that correctly. All enemies attack and defense minus 20% and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there's an extreme class enemy. So as you can see, he has a lot of lowering attack and defense, which makes him automatically very useful for ESBR and Super Battle Red, especially with the stunning as well. However, when it comes to like red zone content, it's going to be a very useless effect. He, however, gets the support, which may be very, very useful. And of course, with the critical hit chance up, you can already maximize his hidden potential with a maximum dodge or maximum additional, depending on what you tend to use for. If you think you need him in Super Battle Road, maximum additional for sure. If you're not, and you probably want to try him out in Red Zone, I'd definitely go with the Dodgers because I don't think just from like he's looking at the info, he's not going to be defensively viable. His link sets, uh, very interesting stuff. Cold Judgment, if you can activate that, that's really good. That's a 20% defense link. And then you got the Bombardment Super Strike. If you can activate that as well, that's a lot of attack that he's getting. I think damage-wise, he should be fine, like most of the Super Strike units, because of that Bombardment Super Strike link. But we'll see how his defense is. Uh, this is the team that we're rugging. He doesn't have a 200% leader as at this current moment. So I'm running 130% leader with a 170% friend leader. We're going to jump into the Bojack event for some type advantage. Kind of got our rotation set. I'm going to be having Trunks next to the uh, Pycon, if poss when possible. They have uh, Cold Judgment together and at least the Super Strike Link. Unfortunately, no Bombardment though. Bombardment's a way rarer Link to have. Let's go with the 18 key here. Hopefully this doesn't kill. I would like to get the first Super off, but this is a Dogen event, so I am not going to expect a lot. Yep. <laughs> I think Trunks is going to kill. If he doesn't, I would be very happy, but... I doubt. Yep. Alright, whatever. Oh, good. So I'll link him up next to the Piccolo. So we have Super Strike, Experience Fighter, and Soul vs. Soul. Defense stats 116,000. Remember, he doesn't get any extra defense on Supering. So what he's all relying on is... That extra 20% attack and defense each attack performed. So let's grab the orbs. We'll target the Bojack. Yeah, I, we can definitely stall on this turn. Two million attacks that that's not really good. That is not really good. We'll just slowly build him up, though. So this is a really nice rotation for him. He's getting almost all of his links other than Bombardment. He's now at 179,000 defense, which is way more impressive than it was last turn. Let's see what his attack stat is going to be like now. Two point six 
All right, we're getting somewhere now. If he can hit 4 million fully built up, I'd say he's pretty worth it. And of course, be even more worth it if he had that 200% leader skill already. He is getting help though with the Great Saiyan Man. Uh, the Great Saiyan Man LR raises the superclass allies attack by 30% for two turns. So that's really, really helping him out here. All right, let's see how this is now. 223,000 defense. He's got one more stack. Bombardment. Cold Judgment is really saving this man's ass. <laughs> I'm going to tell you now. Three points... Zero three million. I will kill the next turn. Just so we can start off with PyCon. Alright, this is him fully built up. With a 30% support. A support from Trunks, which I don't remember the exact amount. Uh... <laughs> 20% and one key. So what is his stats? 250,000. 300,000 if you can get that double 170% for sure. But I just don't think he's defensively good. Compared to like Mecha Freezer, which gets like 700% defense. This guy only getting like... Very little compared to him. <laughs> it is a... Big difference. Big, big difference. Three point four, not even breaking the four million. He I'm I will consider him better than the trunks though, just because he has less of a restriction. But him being another Savior's unit makes it so that if we keep getting more Savior units, Trunks is going to be slowly becoming better when he can guarantee himself like a good team um, to seek the supers. Don't Doka mode, nice. At least we get the Doka mode. It's been a while since I've done the Doka mode on a video for a showcase. As long as we don't kill, of course, because that critical is those criticals. Hello? Ah, oh, this is not good, is it? Well, I lied. <laughs> I lied. I lied. Well, that's going to be PyCon. Um, my final thoughts is he's meh. He's actually just meh. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video though. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. Let me know your thoughts on the PyCon. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace out.